On September 10th, the Belize Territorial Volunteers organized an excursion to Sarstoon Island for a flag raising ceremony. The uninhabited island is at the center of a territorial dispute between Belize and Guatemala. And, as we reported, the tour was met with aggression from Guatemala's armed forces. Three Belizean flags were removed from the island by the Guatemalan soldiers. The Guatemalans, they have removed three of our flags. Who are waiting for them to come for this one? They'll have to remove three of us. The Belize-Guatemala territorial dispute took center stage during the general debate at the 78th session of the General Assembly of the United Nations. On Saturday, Foreign Minister Eamon Courtney addressed the general debate and highlighted the continued illegal incursions by Guatemalans on Belizean territory. As Belize and Guatemala continue to pursue the peaceful, just and final resolution of Guatemala's claim to Belizean territory before the International Court of Justice, illegal incursions by Guatemalans continue. Recently, Guat Guatemalan military forces illegally entered Belizean waters and unlawfully removed Belizean flags placed on Belizean soil. Deforestation, cattle ranching, and cultivation of illegal drugs by Guatemalans continue in remote and protected areas of Belize. These activities are contrary to international law and good neighborliness. Maria Busano, Guatemala's foreign minister, exercised the first right of reply to respond to Foreign Minister Courtney on the matter. He asserted that Guatemala has been the victim of radical social independentist Belizean groups. Guatemala has systematically been the victim of radical social independentist Belizean groups who year upon year attempt to provoke instability. in the Rio Sarstoon River zone, thus violating the territorial integrity and sovereignty of our country. Throughout our history, we have borne witness to the deaths of fellow Guatemalans who have perished at the hands of Belizean armed forces. But there has never been an issue, despite the systematic provocations of these groups who claim that Guatemalan soldiers have violated the human rights of their Belizean brothers or disrupted peace. Today, the founder of Belize Territorial Volunteers, Will Mejia, was back out on the river. Videos from the patrol shows Mahia engaged in a verbal exchange with members of the Guatemalan Armed Forces over whose territory they were in. Tu esta en territorio Belize. No! Si ustedes quieren entrar a territorio guatemalteco, vayan a la capitanía. Este es... Este es... Procedimientos establecidos por Guatemala. Este es. Mientras tanto no pueden estar aquí en Guatemala. Este es territorio Belice. Este es territorio beliceño. Eh. No hablen hablando babosadas que no es. Cumplen con la ley de guatemalteca. Cumplen con la ley de Belice. La más cercana de Guatemala y cumplen con los procedimientos establecidos. Mientras tanto tienen que retirarse de Guatemala. Tú no puedes estar en Belice con armas. It is worth noting that while the debate rages on in global stages, the Sarstoon forward operating base is still without permanent presence from the Belize Defense Force. On the other hand, Guatemala's armed forces appears to maintain a permanent presence on the river. On Tuesday, Carlos Fuller, Belize's permanent representative to the United Nations, exercised Belize's right of reply at the UN's General Assembly to respond to the accusations levied by Guatemala's Foreign Minister, Busano. The assertion made in the Guatemalan statement regarding deaths of Guatemalan at the hands of Belize's armed forces is completely baseless and false. The truth is, as confirmed by OAS verification reports, that Guatemalans on a daily basis encroach on Belizean territory, deforesting our protected areas, cultivating illegal drugs, poaching endangered species, and looting Mayan artifacts. These activities are contrary to international law and good neighborliness. Belize repeats its call for Guatemala and Belize under the aegis of the Organization of American States to urgently engage in constructive discussions to agree a protocol to promote confidence and good neighborly relations in the Sarstoon River area. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.